welcome back. Today we're preparing for snow apocalypse. We got a big blizzard coming in the next couple days. Three or four days of rain and snow. We already got four inches of snow on the ground out there. So it's gonna start looking like a lot. We got cows in a cornfield, no protection. That's why we got them there early in the season when the temperatures are warmer. And they're right next to one of our farms, so if there is something coming, we can move them real quick, which is what we're doing today. So we're gonna get chores done and then get over there move 95 cows to somewhere where there's trees, a flowing well, which is water that's coming out of the ground from pressure in the ground, and so it never freezes. We'll get them set up so they're safe, healthy, warm, and that's what we got going on today. Let these warm up a little bit so everything works good when we're chasing cattle in the frozen tundra. So when we're doing this today, my wife Tiffany's gonna help out. She's gonna lead the cattle. The cattle know this gator. They know it always has pellets in it. And so they're gonna try to follow her and then dad and I are gonna be on four wheelers making sure everybody's following and coming how we want to. So we'll have a bunch of pellets with. Hopefully get them where they need to go real easily. Remember when Ellie pooped in here and you made me clean it up? Yeah. So I'm gonna go pick Tiffany up. Dad's gonna drive to the gate that the cows are gonna be running through. And this should be a pretty quick thing if everything goes to plan. But you know, it's cattle. And they, they kinda do what they want sometimes. Let's see if I can break some of this ice so maybe they'll drink some of it down. What do we got? A hammer, that should do. I can see there, oh man, in the distance there is a movement. They're coming this way, which is good. Want them to drink a lot of this down and then this is the gate that they're coming out of. And then after they come out of that gate, we're gonna chase them down the road. Hopefully they don't go in the neighbors. About an eighth of a mile, really. And the gate's right here. And we'll just take them right through that gate and then they're on our land and they're actually gonna be in 320 acres over here. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, Tiff, the cows are right there. You're gonna drive in there. They're gonna look at you and be like, for my good perlet. And then you're gonna come out the gate, come down this road, and go in this gate. And once we have them in here, we pretty much got them. So it's pretty easy, pretty easy thing. You think you can do it? I think so. All right. Well, 
Lord have mercy. Wasn't looking good, but she got out, started shaking that pellet bucket, and they started running. Wrong side of the fence, girls. Hey, come on. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Go the other way. That's the gate they're supposed to go through and all these girls went on the wrong side of the fence. All right, round two, we got half the herd in here. They're hanging out. We're gonna lure them back around. You know, they just split. The herd was a little strung out. And once they get on the wrong side of the gate, uh, they're, they're, they're silly creatures. Oh, 27, if you keep doing that, if you keep walking, Oh Lord, you best turn around, I swear to goodness. Come on, get going, get, get going. There we go, we got some sort of movement in the right direction. Up, up. Oh. What are you doing, silly goober? Come on. them up to water so they all know where that's at and then they'll find the cornfield. We had a difficult situation there that the cows needed to make a 90 degree turn out of the field and there was once some of them started the rest of them wanted to run along the inside. We didn't catch it quite quick enough and so they followed along the inside of the fence but all's good you know a half mile down the road so we weren't too worried about it took just a little bit more time than we expected. We got them where they need to go and it's not dark out, so we're good. We were able to keep those cows on that 160 acres for about a month and uh, there's no protection out there, so we graze that one early. And that way, uh, you know, once the weather starts getting bad, we want them to have protection from wind. And that's where they're at now. We've got some of our best protection here in a flowing well, so they're watered. They have an open water to drink all the time. The artesian water is like 55 degrees coming out of the ground. Maybe not quite, but close. And it does not freeze over. Once we move them to our place, we've got 240 acres of corn stalks they can graze while we have them close to home to get ready for calving. That's it. Get in there. Excuse it. Oh, about got her. It's about 22 degrees Fahrenheit this morning. It was 11 when we started doing chores this morning, but uh, it's warmed up a little bit. Sun's out. We're supposed to get a winter storm here starting tomorrow. And these cows can stand behind these trees here out of the wind. Very glad to have them here. We're almost there, girls. There's the water tank. Just wanted to let them figure out. Just wanted them to figure out where it was. So not wandering aimlessly. Oh, she's got speed. Howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy.
I'm going to head back to the livestock trailer now and get loaded up. I'll be thinking of a song of the day while I do it. We are speed. What do you got? I got the cold thumb from the throttle. Needs to be heated. Yeah. I like the throttle either. What's worse than hurting cattle with your spouse? What? <laughs> hurting cattle with your spouse and having 223,000 people watch you hurt cattle with your spouse. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't have done that by ourselves. That was that was a hard one. There's a lot of cows and coming out of a gate where they have to turn like that. I've been telling Cole for about three days we should have put a gate in that corner. We could just chase them right across we did so anyway thank you very much I promised the song of the day and I haven't done it yet so it's Chicago 25 or 6 to 4 Tammy and I heard a jazz band do that in uh, ah in Nashville. Nashville yes there was a little there's a little jazz bar your first vacation in 10 years to Nashville <laughs> anyway 25 or 6 to 4 by Chicago very good song they're an American band okay <laughs> good then when I said the other day that Cheap Trick was English, I meant they spoke English. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's take it. I'm so cold, I could use my nose droppings as chapsticks. We are back in the laundry room. We got painting done, I got flooring in, and I hung this door pretty proud of myself. It closes and latches. Anyway, my brother's coming over. We picked up the cabinets yesterday, so there'll be a couple going right there. So he's gonna help me mount those. So I'll start pulling some boxes in. Half the job is just unboxing stuff, so many boxes. Also wanna cut these shims off. I was getting nervous, pretty nervous at the end of the job. I was thinking I was running out of shims. Yeah, I barely had any left. So I drug the last cabinet in and I was like, yeah, job well done, started opening the box. That thing is damaged. I called in the local Menards. They said they have it on hand, so I'll go exchange it. So I'll be back home in an hour and a half. Hopefully I have the right thing that's not broken. Looks all right. So now we finally have everything not damaged and so just on that wall we're going to have we're going to start with this uh, 15 inch wide and then two 24 inch wide ones and the end one will have the sink in it and then we'll have one wall hanging that'll be right there covering up all these screw holes how many you want it um 12 from the top <laughs> Well, we got those installed. We got to put drawers in them, of course, and the countertop isn't here yet. And then we'll need a plumber. But that's what we're going to get done for today. Hope you enjoyed watching. Got the cows moved before the big storm coming, and we'll see how big it ends up being. 
Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. I'm only good at herding cats. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty!